Odisha, a land blessed with overflowing bounties of nature, is also a land of paradox. Despite all its resources, a huge cross-section of people here still remain impoverished. They need a strong social safety net to get their basic entitlements, like enough food. The state needed a new, transparent and efficient PDS reform process to reach over 85 lakh families using a network of over 28,000 fair price shops. Odisha needed a system to effectively implement the National Food Security Act 2013. To transform the targeted public distribution system or TPDS of the state, the government of Odisha collaborated with the United Nations World Food Programme. With operations in over 80 countries, reaching out to over 80 million people, the UNWFP has just the right know-how and expertise for such critical and large-scale missions. The UN program took up Odisha as a model and helped set up eBitharan, a digitized and streamlined distribution network of subsidized goods created for people who actually deserve it. The process started with mass scale awareness building. To boost people participation and enhance confidence, WFP and the government created a transparent system covering every aspect of the PDS with end-to-end -end computerization. Thousands of destitute families in Orisha, some from the deepest rural interiors, have applied for the new PDS card. The program is touching lives everywhere in the state, including urban slums. Aided by WFP's global expertise, the project undertook numerous innovative measures. The most critical challenge was to create a flawless system of beneficiary identification. The state-level task force of NFSA recommended eight exclusion and five auto-inclusion criteria. To create a leak-proof system for the first time ever, Personal data was collected from multiple sources and matched with the National Population Register data. Every application goes through this database scrutiny and only the deserving candidates get the subsidy benefits. The resultant consolidated database has become a long-standing asset for the state. An entire spectrum of partnerships was built, involving the public sector, state mechanism and a large number of private players and NGOs. A lot was happening simultaneously, including digitization of relevant databases, computerization of supply chain management systems, automation of the fair price shops, setting up of a transparency portal and building an active grievance redressal mechanism. A follow-up system was also set up, the Ration Card Database System or RCMS. Through this, it will become easier to accept fresh applications, additions, deletions, mutations and replacement of lost or damaged ration cards. For the poor people of Odisha, the high-tech new card is fast becoming a symbol of hope and confidence. For WFP, it has been yet another critical learning experience. The UN program is taking forward its role in modern India to support the government in improving the efficiency of its own programs and systems. Uh, looking at um, the words of Mahatma Gandhi, where he was saying true freedom is freedom when you have freedom of poverty from poverty, freedom from illiteracy and freedom from inequality. So poverty, illiteracy, inequality, all these are directly tied to food security. India is going up and up and they will continue to rise and show the rest of the world how it's going to be done. TPDS in Odisha has proved beyond doubt, where there is a will, there will always be a way. Today, a wider cross-section of people here not just wants to belong, but contribute to the mainstream of growth. 
thanks to the giant strides that TPDS is taking. Food security does not seem like an impossible dream in the state. Not anymore.